Welcome to the Tech Me Show. Today we're going to learn how to use SyncToy. Why? Well, it's free and it's incredible, really. You can do quite a bit with it and it's pretty straightforward if you know what you're doing after a while, uh, which is what we're going to teach you right now. So, basically, we're going to back up, or in this case, it's considered contribute. What does that mean exactly? That means we're going to take it from one folder, aka left, and then send it to another folder, which would be right, which would be the destination. Again, this is in the contribute mode. Now, why are we doing this? Simply so we can create a backup. So if anything changes in folder, uh, well, I guess we could say the left folder, it'll automatically go to the right folder. This is great for automatic syncing should you want to set it up that way. Um, and probably later on I'll show you exactly how to set up a task uh, um, to do this at the end of the day and whatnot. Um, which would be done in the scheduler. So let's go ahead and create a new folder pair. Slide this over. Create new folder pair. Now let's choose the left folder. This is the folder where you want to be able to, to um, have a copy. You cannot live without, basically. So we're going to go ahead and select uh, a folder that we must have. So um, I already created a folder called a test folder. Go ahead and press OK. Now, where do we want to put it? Well, really, if we're going to do this and trying to back up, you don't want it on your computer. Whether you select a network drive, which might be smart, uh, but then again, maybe that computer or server is not always on. If it's a server, it should always be on. But nonetheless, um, you could have always uh, have it go to attached media, which is exactly what we're going to do today, which we would need to click on computer. And in this case, we're going to go ahead and choose Canon real quick because it's my uh, SD card. So I'm just going to choose the picture folder, for instance. And we'll go ahead and press OK. So let's go over this real quick. This means we're taking it from a test folder, which is on the actual Windows machine. And then we're going to send it to a local attached storage, in this case, my SD card. Uh, the reason is because, God forbid, something happens, I don't have to worry about it. It's now on my SD card, which is normally always attached unless I'm obviously filming. So, let's go ahead and select Next. Now, here comes the tricky part. You could do Synchronize, where both sections get updated so let's say left folder um, I make a change automatically the right folder would get changed or let's say I make a change in the right folder the left folder would get updated but we're not gonna go ahead and do that um, but let's go ahead and actually just not confuse and go to contribute echoes not important so we'll go ahead and press next and let's give it a name well in this case we'll call it tech me show and go ahead and press finish and there we go we're basically done now unfortunately I don't have anything in this folder if I did it would automatically go over here um, well you know what for argument's sake I'm gonna go ahead and create a folder or create a file rather um, this way we have something to examine so we'll go ahead and go to public a test folder and I'll go ahead and create a new file real quick uh, just a text document I'm not even gonna rename it so now if we go ahead and click preview there you go look at that so this is telling us this is in the left folder which is that source source pardon me right there this is the file it's a new operation uh, when it was last modified uh, the target which it's gonna be the same name thing and the target path which is my Canon SD card so looks okay right good now we could click run or in this case I'm gonna go ahead and select close now you have no choice but to basically go ahead and run it so we're gonna do that so we'll go ahead and select run 
and it's completed as we can see no failures uh, nothing got deleted nothing overwritten nothing renamed nothing new well I take that back one new but it didn't fail uh, it was successful no create folders so all operation was successful and a total of one um, and we went from the left folder which was on my hard drive to the SD card which is locally attached and we'll go ahead and select close now if I was happy I'd say we're done but now what if that you know you forget to do this and this happens you know people forget to update or run the program and select run so we're gonna go ahead and close this program now right uh, and we're gonna go ahead and open up the task scheduler by going to start all programs accessories uh, system tools um, and task scheduler and why did we do this because we're gonna set up a schedule and why do we want to do this well because uh, we want to schedule the task so go ahead and create a basic task and we're gonna call it tech me show description this is a test go ahead and select next now when do you want to do it daily weekly monthly one time when the computer starts when I log on or when a specific event is logged which you could do technically but I don't see the point um, unless you wanted that to happen when uh, let's say a browser open and you want to your settings or something copied so they don't get corrupted whatever the case might be so we're gonna go ahead and select daily and press next so now we can choose the date and the time and the date uh, and you can synchronize across time zones which is nice uh, recur one day you know that's all right um, and the start date today is 3-19-2012 so that's a good idea um, it is past 9-55 since I talk so much uh, so I'm gonna change this and hopefully I'll do it quick enough uh, to 9-58 because I probably will end up talking select that to zero now I'll go ahead and select next and what do I want to do I want to start a program now you could always have a message in here and trick somebody and every time at a specific time you know have something pop up saying ha, 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 ha. or at a certain time you can constantly send an email in this case we're gonna start a program right so now we can go ahead and select the program script in this case we are going to want to go to where is the sync toy actually I think it's 64 bit it looks like it is so it'd be regular program files sync toy perfect so now we could go ahead and choose cut
Okay, so now we'll go ahead and go to a program, uh, and it will be in local disk, uh, the 64-bit version of our program files, and we'll type S to get to sync. So sync toy, um, uh, 2.1. Um, now, this is the folder, and we want to basically select, this is probably the best way, uh, let's do it this way, sync toy command which is basically um, the command file, right? Um, and we could go ahead and type space minus R. And you might be asking, well, what is that? That's basically, I believe, don't quote me, I probably should have known this, but it will run all the folder pairs uh, that are active for uh, run all. So basically, it'll run all. Now, we'll go ahead and choose the pair. And... I believe you only have to do quotes if there's a space, so I'm going to get rid of that and do tick me show. But now, let's say I did put a space. Tech me show. Like that. But because I didn't, it's going to be tech me show. Right? Now, uh, that should be fine. Now, let's say I didn't do the command right here uh, and I chose the other one I would do the argument right here which is the minus R um, but anyways this looks good um, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, select next it appears uh, have been included program text yes we do I don't know why I read that out loud like it was a shock um, <laughs> but let's go ahead and press yes so this is everything. This looks good. Um, I'm gonna have to change the time because I did talk too much. I'm gonna change this to three ten ten o three. Yes. So this looks good. I think so. We'll go ahead and press finish. And all looks well. And this is all my other stuff that I have here. But now we're going to um, go ahead and minimize this for a moment. And I'm going to hurry up and load up the folders so that we can get an idea. Now you're going to be stuck seeing pictures. I apologize. <laughs> um, I do uh, have a side company. And look at that. At 9.53 it was sent over here because of our batch run. But I'm going to go ahead and go to uh, yeah, documents, uh, go to public, a test folder. Now I'm going to rename this. Hi, hi, hi. Now, since I changed it to hi, 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 it should technically show up here in the bottom in a moment. So let's wait a moment and we should see our new folder here. Uh, file, pardon me any moment. Oh, here comes the task scheduler. It's popping up. That was exciting, wasn't it? And it's doing whatever it's doing. Go ahead and press refresh. And there we go. Our new file is here. Hi, 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 hi. Well, that concludes this tutorial for the Tech Me Show. I hope you like my photos here. <laughs> Thank you, and uh, I hope you guys have a great day.